Hey everybody, I'm back with another read, okay? So this is going to be the, um, how does the masculine feel about divine feminine, okay? So this is for like if you are um, currently in separation, y'all two aren't on good terms or you guys are in communication, okay? So we're going to take a look into see what are their thoughts about you? moving forward how they view you what action they could be taking towards you all right so let's go ahead and jump into it all right give me a message here how does the divine master feel about the uh, divine feminine? I definitely see with the four swords right there at the bottom of the deck. I definitely do see that you guys are kind of like on a break, period. Some time off away from each other. Just kind of like taking a break from each other. All right, so we got the judgment card here at the bottom. Let's get into it. We got the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Well, I feel like masculine definitely feels like he should. He know his intuition is telling him that he should apologize to you. I feel like he planned on apologizing to you or he plans on apologizing to you. But I see him. I feel like he planned. He knew that he should apologize to you. But instead, he just left. He just moved on. But now I feel like this is something that he thinks about often, about how he should have apologized to you, how he shouldn't have just uh, just moved on and left, just left the situation behind. I see him sitting here watching you. He watching you hard. Damn near stalking you. I feel like he's hoping that you have some regrets. He's hoping that you have some type of regrets. But I see you looking at this. You looking at this masculine like he a liar. He's sneaky. He's untrust. You can't trust him. You can't trust him. You cannot trust him. I don't see any male energy here like the king or any of that here right now so let's see why's the three of swords here the king of cups there we go i do feel like he uh definitely do feels like he should apologize but he feel like he, I feel like deep down he feel like he know that he should apologize. But he going to wait to do it. He going to wait to do it. When he feel, oh, he said when he feel like it. Mm. Oh, the devil and the ace of wands and the queen of cups. 
He said when he has, I feel like he wants you to open up, be more, more open up to, be open to the, uh, the, uh, how can I word it? He wanted you to be open to, uh, getting in bed again. Okay. So he gonna wait to offer this apology. Tell me more about this King Cups. The Empress, yep. This is you, Divine Feminine. This is you. I feel like Masculine feels like you're a little too fast for him. Like, um, he feels like if you slow down, then he'll come back around. So, it's kind of like he wants you to kind of like humble yourself a little bit in order for him to feel comfortable. Um, there's something that you are doing um, that's making him feel like I can't really just step back over there like that. I can't just step to her like that. Tell me why the high priestess is here. He, he, his intuition telling him that you would go for it. That if he was to apologize to you and come to you and tell you, look, I apologize for what I did, for what I said, how I acted, whatever the case may be. He feels like, he feels like you will go for it. Okay. He feels like there's no doubt in his mind. <laughs> He says, no doubt in my mind, he can get you back. Okay. We got the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. This, this masculine here could have already told you the truth, let you see the truth. The truth has already been presented to you, or they're come. They want to come out and be honest with you and give you the truth, with an apology behind it. Okay, with an apology behind it. Yeah, they want to. Um, Nine of Cups here. They want to, but in later on i'm hearing like later on they don't want to do it at this particular moment they want to do it on their time whatever the reason is they feel like they don't want to give you what you what you're looking for right now they don't they do not they don't they got the four cups and the lovers. Um, they don't like the fact that you're getting some type of attention. Whatever attention that you're getting, they don't like it. So at this time, they just kind of like is letting things be for now. They're letting things be for now. But at the same time, they're still sitting over here watching you. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, they're watching you. This is why they have not ran back as quickly as they possibly used to. Um, because they they sitting back watching you. They're watching, they're being more observant this time than just um, you know, being so quick and hasty to come towards you. Why is the page of wands here? Ten of wands, yeah. Because too much has already been said. Too much has already been said or too much has already been seen. Too much has already been put out. Um, yeah. And this person is already, it's fine because they want to see if you're saying like the relationship was a burden. Like they're watching to see how do you really feel about the connection? If you feel like I'm not watching you, what are you saying? Some of y'all know this person watching y'all. Um, this person also, I feel like too, this person 
could have messed up this connection on purpose. Mm. This person could have sabotaged this on purpose. They didn't know how to come towards you or, oh, the moon and the five of swords. Goodness gracious, some jealousy, some envy. Yeah, it's a lot of jealousy and envy going on. But see, in competition, I feel like they're spying on you. Let's see what you're saying about this connection. Was the connection a burden? Was it something? Because you know when people break up, they get online and they talk. Like you can kind of read between the lines of how a person is feeling. Y'all, it's early. So if my voice kind of cracking a little bit. But yes, they definitely are sitting here stalking and watching. Now, they got somebody who they're stuck with. We have the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Somebody that they've been juggling. Okay, they got somebody who they're, they're stuck on, they're stuck with at the time. Like, they feel like they're stuck. Could be a karmic. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, gosh, yeah. It's a mess. You see how those cards just flipped out like that? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Knight of Swords. This person, this individual could be younger. The Knight of Swords energy is very young and very irrational and just uh, something that's um like the speed of the connection, like how it's irrational. Things just happen out of the blue. It's like real quick pace. It's nothing steady um, and long lasting. It's like, go, 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 go. What we gonna do next, 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 next? We going on a date, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like speed dating, okay? Um, he feels like he should have waited. Um, it keeps saying he thinks that he should have waited. Why is that Knight of Swords here? Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this karma. Because I feel like this is a karmic energy. I feel like this person younger. Okay, this is something that he could have possibly been keeping a secret from you with this moon card here. Um, he was waiting to get his his lid back. Yeah. He was waiting to get his lip back. Hangman and a justice. Nine of swords and the seven of wands. So he was waiting to get his revenge. Okay. So while he's trying to get revenge on you, he's literally sitting here stuck with this karmic. Trying to uh, get his lip back for whatever reason. He feels like he needs to get his lip back. Why is the six of swords here? Yeah, to try to move on from you. Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Cause for some reason he just couldn't he just couldn't do it. It was like two of swords and a judgment. He wasn't sure about this final decision. Um, but nonetheless he was trying to move on. He was trying to escape. I feel like this masculine told you the truth. This is a masculine that the truth either got out. Why is the ace of swords here? Yeah, okay, Give it, gave you some information, okay, or this masculine feels like he has some information on you. What's the six of pentacles here? Okay, this is saying that. He either feels like he gave you a chance to be honest or you gave him a chance to be honest. Either way, it was definitely a trust factor in this situation. Okay, now there could have been a third party involved with this three of swords, this king cups, and this empress. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like he definitely tried to move on. He's trying to move on. 
Yeah, he's trying to work on something else. Um, let's see. He keeps going back and forth about it. Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. He keeps going back and forth. Like, it's difficult for him to kind of, like, make up his mind. I feel like he's very undecided, but he's still stuck with the permit because that's the decision that he chose. So now he has to sit here and watch you from the sidelines. I don't feel like you are dealing with this person because you know that this person is deceptive source energy. Like, they're deceptive. Queen of Cups. This person could have cheated on you with a water sign or a, a Leo. Yeah. I feel like he made a choice. He made his, I'm hearing you made your bed, not like any. That's the type of energy that you're giving this masculine because this masculine tried you. Like, he was very dishonest, unloyal. Now this, now he's trying to make you regret it. He's trying to make you regret uh, walking away from the situation. Yep, three cups. I'm seeing you could have made some new friends. Um, he, this masculine want things to go back to how it was. Okay, six of cups, uh, the three of wands, king of swords, and the seven of cups. And then he feels like, okay, we could work on it if things go back to how it was. Three of pentacles and the justice. Um, but the thing about it is, is how can anything go back to how it was if you're trying to make this feminine jealous with a karmic that don't work like that all right so the outcome is the nine of ones and i feel like i'm hearing times up i'm hearing time is up but see, this masculine is hoping that you come back around one day. This this masculine is hoping that you come back around one day. Like y'all come back around. I'm hearing, if you love it, let it go. If it come back, then you know. But I feel like this person also uh, feels like they aren't enough for you. The type of relationship that you want, they they don't feel like they're equipped for this type of relationship. But I'm definitely here. I'm hearing time's up. Time up. Yep. Eight of Cups. Didn't I tell you? Time up. Time's up. Either this masculine walked away from you or you walked away from this masculine because it was time. It was definitely time to walk away from this connection. Yeah. Somebody left for their own happiness. Um, I feel like you are achieving more without this energy. This masculine feel like you gave up on them and you left the connection. I feel like you could possibly, some of y'all are like a business owner. We got the Three of Pentacles and the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be like a business owner or you're um, in a company, like a, a really big company. I'm hearing, like I'm hearing go back to how it was or it's not worth it. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Go back. If it don't go back to how it was, then it's not going to be worth it. So this person feel like if we can't go back to what we was and how it was before, then it's not worth putting in the effort. It's not worth putting in the work. Okay. Now this masculine right here, I feel like they have some secrets. Tell me about the moon. Mm. The devil and the five of pentacles. 
could be a Capricorn. This person feels rejected, felt rejected or left out in the cold by you. Yep. They felt betrayed by you, like you betrayed you, like they you betrayed them. Um, and I feel like you walked away. And they said, well, keep it that way, then. And they over here is real stubborn. Um, and they feel like this is their time. See, this is what they were going through. This is what they, this masculine was going through something. Okay, I feel like when you decided to walk away, they didn't have no choice but to move on. But it was hard or difficult for them to do. Like, they had to literally coach themselves every day, get through it every day. Okay, but this is their way to stand up for themselves. But I'm definitely hearing time's up. Time's up. And somebody walking out and left. Okay, and I'm getting a major upgrade. I feel like you have been more successful and more happier since you walked away from this energy. I'm definitely getting like a level up. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Three of Pentacles. I feel like that's the next level, like financially. I feel like you claimed your power back. You've gained some type of um some type of power over your your finances, yourself. I feel like there's a major upgrade with this emperor and the king of pentacles. Some of y'all have are collaborating and working with and building with another masculine. Um, the emperor definitely is that masculine, divine masculine energy. But we got the king of pentacles here as well. So this is like working and building with someone who's already in a good place financially. You guys meshing together. Y'all on the same page. We got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles here. So some of y'all could be collabing with another um, individual, okay? But yeah, this this masculine time was up, okay? They time is up. Time's up, that's what I'm hearing. Time's up. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm hearing. Okay, let's get a message from here and see what this uh, masculine wants to say. Yep, I feel you leaving me behind. This masculine is wondering if you're happy without them. Okay. For some of you, this masculine left you before you could leave them. Um, because they didn't want to be the one to feel the pain of a breakup. Okay. They didn't want you to break up with them first. So, some of y'all, y'all left this masculine. Some of y'all, the masculine, walked away from you. But I feel like for majority, this person felt like you were way ahead of them like you left them and then you started doing better now he's just sitting here wondering like are you happy without me do you miss me at all finding out the truth crushed me We need to let each other go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like I said, time's up. Time's up. You came closer than anyone, and I regret lying to you. Yeah, this person lied and was being sneaky about something. Some type of truth may have gotten out, and you walked away from this person. But they were feeling like, like I said, some of these masculines knew that, and they were. Uh, purposely sabotaging the connection because they were a coward and couldn't tell you the truth at the time or didn't know what to do with the connection, where the connection, what they should do with you guys' connection because I feel like they could have already been dealing with the karmic, okay? But they said we need to let each other go. But I feel like some of y'all have already moved on from that because I feel like some of y'all are just doing way better without this energy around you. All right, so that's the message that I got, guys. I feel like this masculine, they got they got they done made a bed, they got to lay in it. They stuck with a karmic that's on them. Okay? Y'all keep pushing, y'all keep striving for the best of the best, okay? And y'all time going to come. All right? 
So that's what I got for y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later.